What's going on, guys? It's New York Prepper here. It is Monday, April 19th, 2021, and I have another breaking news alert to share with you guys on the situation in Ukraine. And what you're looking at here is the flight path of a airborne ground surveillance and battle management command and control aircraft from the U.S. Air Force that was deployed to Lithuania last night, okay? And here you can see this plane flew over the Suwalki Gap, which is that critical area that I've always talked about, and it was making loops around Lithuania, and it was flying close to Kaliningrad, the Suwalki Gap, and Belarus. And this is extremely significant information here that I'm sharing with you guys, because if the U.S. Air Force is deploying the uh, Joint Star, um, that means that they're getting ready for war, okay, or they're anticipating some type of a war. And so if you guys don't know what this plane is, this is a Northrop Grumman E-8 Joint Star, and it's a U.S. Air Force Airborne Ground Surveillance battle management and command and control aircraft. It can track ground vehicles and aircraft. It can collect imagery and relay tactical pictures to ground and air theater commanders. All right, so this is a very, very powerful piece of equipment here. There's only 17 of these in the entire U.S. Air Force, okay? So the fact that they're sending this out to Lithuania is extremely significant. Um, so I wanted to share that with you guys. I think this is a very significant development. Again, this is the Bo uh, this is the Northrop Grumman E-8C Joint Star, and it's a command and control aircraft, okay, for the U.S. Air Force. It has an APY-7 active electronically scanned array side-looking airborne radar antenna, all right? It also has electronic countermeasures and it can also receive in-flight refueling. So this is an extremely, extremely advanced piece of equipment here. Uh, they have a ground moving target indicator, a fixed target indicator, a target classification and synthetic aperture radar. To pick up moving targets, it can use a Doppler radar as well. Um, so this is a very advanced aircraft here, and, and the U.S. military is deploying this to this critical area in the Baltics, the Suwalki Gap, Lithuania. And we know that over the last few days, Russia and Belarus have been strengthening their forces in northwestern Belarus, close to the Suwalki Gap, where Poland and Lithuania are in, in Grodno, uh, Belarus, okay? So the U.S. Air Force is now sending these highly sophisticated command and control aircrafts, okay? This is what they use when they're actually in war, okay? And they need to scan areas and pick up targets and then relay those targets to attack aircraft, okay? This is a serious situation here. Now, in addition to that, we had some other interesting deployments here. What you're looking at here is another uh, British, this is a British Air Force plane, that landed in Kiev earlier today. It came from Poznan, Poland, and it landed somewhere in Kiev. Now, this to me looks like it could be some kind of a, this could be some kind of a transport aircraft. Um, it's probably, uh, I'll read you guys the actual plane here if you want to look it up. It's a BAE Systems 146-200 plane. And, uh, it's either going to be transporting some kind of equipment or it's going to be transporting personnel. Um, could be some type of a special forces group, British special forces, or maybe some generals, or it could have some kind of equipment on there. We don't know. All right. But I wanted to share that with you guys. Uh, we also have another interesting uh, deployment here from the U.S. Army. And this plane landed in uh, Constanta, Romania, and it took off from Nuremberg, Germany. And this is a very small plane, as you can see. It's a low-flying plane. And this is a U.S. Army plane that flew from Germany to Romania. 
And I'm just guessing that there's probably some VIPs on this uh, plane here that they wanted to forward deploy closer to the Black Sea in Romania. So these could have maybe some, this plane here could have some generals on there, maybe some officers, some high ranking people, because it's a very small plane and it was flying very low to the ground, only 5,000 feet and a ground speed of 288 miles an hour. All right, so this was deployed from Germany. And here we have another flight path of the Forte 10. This is the RQ-4 Global Hawk. This is the one that I've been following for the last few days, and there's two of them that the uh, U.S. Air Force has been deploying to eastern Ukraine, Crimea, and uh, Georgia as well. And they've been going 24 hours a day. They've been alternating shifts. So the Forte 10 will, will run one shift. Then the Forte 11 will run a shift. And they alternate like that every other day. And it's been going like that for the last few days now. And they've been flying over Donetsk, Luhaisk. They've been flying within 10 miles of the Russian border. They flew over Odessa, uh, Crimea, and Georgia, okay? So I wanted to share all this information with you guys. Now, another interesting bit of information is today I was tracking four aerial refueling aircrafts that were flying in the Mediterranean, and um, there were four of them all together at one point today, and they were flying in two pairs. These were a U.S. Air Force Boeing KC-135 Strato tanker, and there were four of them, and they flew from Spain all the way to um, Italy and uh, Greece, and then they turned around and came back, and that's what you're seeing here. And this is just one of the two. There were two of them side by side, uh, two pairs of these uh, aerial refueling uh, planes, okay? And the fact that they're doing aerial refueling means that they, the U.S. military may already have uh, planes that are operating somewhere in the Mediterranean at a standoff distance from the Black Sea, and they're getting refueled in the air they could be reconnaissance planes, they could be drones, they could be uh, fighter jets, we really don't know. But the fact that there were four aerial refueling tankers doing loops in the Mediterranean today is very concerning to me. And that just tells me that the U.S. military has some kind of aircraft operating in the area um, you know, because of the Ukraine situation. It, like I said, it could be reconnaissance planes, it could be drones or it could be even fighter aircraft, okay, fighter jets. So I wanted to share all this information with you guys. Um, I'll keep you updated on anything else I find. And as always, take care, God bless, and don't forget the four Ps. Pray, prepare, practice, and persevere.